music. So what is the Renaissance period? Well, the word Renaissance is a French word meaning rebirth. It's commonly used to describe an age of new discoveries from the 1400s to the 1600s. But what, what happened musically? Um, it was also a great time for the development of music. Composers often drew inspiration from the writers of ancient Greece and Rome. And what about the types of Renaissance music? Well, the Renaissance period is often divided into sacred and secular music. Let's talk about sacred music. Sacred music was dominated by the Latin Mass due to the prominence of the Catholic Church. The sacred music was mostly polyphonic masses and motets. Here's an example of a mass. Listen closely. Churches were really important for educating musicians. In fact, in Venice in the 16th century, the ospedali, which were orphanages, were educating young women in the latest musical trends of the time. Revolutionary, I think. What's secular music? Secular music in the early Renaissance took place in the courts, which would support and fund musicians. Secular songs such as the chanson and the madrigal developed during this period. Here is an example of a madrigal. Listen carefully. pushed the boundaries and laid the foundation for functional harmonies, i.e. major and minor keys, moving away from modality. Composers tried to get increasing emotion into their pieces. Secular Renaissance music was mostly vocal, but instrumental pieces also developed. Here are some Renaissance composers. Who do you think? Tavana! Talis! associated with Renaissance music are the sackbut, the lute, the vi de gamba, and keyboard instruments such as the harpsichord and organ. This is a viol. We get many different types of viol. We get a treble viol, which is this one, it's the smallest. We get a tenor, which is slightly bigger, and then we get a bass one, which is super big. Viols usually have six strings, as you can see if you look really closely. And they have these things here, which are frets. When you want to play a viol, you pop your finger down on the fret and they create this lovely resonant tone. As you can see, I'm holding my bow slightly differently. If I were playing violin, I would hold my bow as if I were on top. Whereas with the viol, I play it as if I'm giving someone a little handshake. I'm offering them my hand and that's how I hold my bow. This is how a viol sounds. When was the Renaissance period? That's right, it was 1400 to 1600-ish. What two groups?
groups can relate objects that be divided into? That's right, the answer is sacred music and secular music. There are lots of Renaissance composers, but the four we've talked about today are Tavernar, Talis, Monteverdi and Bird. Can you name three instruments invented during the Renaissance? Yes, that's right. You could have said the sackbut, the lute, the viol, the harpsichord 